We are back with the U.S. Marshal Service. Thank you so much for joining me today. Can you start by telling me a little bit about your agency and what makes working there unique? Well, what makes our agency unique is that we are the very first law enforcement agency ever established. We were established in 1789 when George Washington appointed the first 16 deputy U.S. Marshals. Our history and culture in this country runs deep. Uh, from the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, where marshals were responsible for tracking down fugitive slaves, to the Civil Rights Act in 1964, where it was U.S. marshals that were enforcing um, equality, um, integrating black students into schools. And so we've evolved, we've come a long way, and we still have a long ways to go. Wow, what a rich and interesting history. Thank you for sharing that. It is truly a unique federal law enforcement agency. Today, the U.S. Marshal Service is often known for apprehending some of our nation's most dangerous fugitives. Can you tell me a little bit about what goes into making that possible um, for law enforcement candidates? So, as everyone knows, I mean, the Marshal Service, we are the world's uh, best manhunters. Uh, we arrest more fugitives than all federal agencies combined. And part of that is, you know, the training that we get, we go through a very vigorous 20-week training program at the United States Marshal Service uh, National Training Academy, um, where you undergo training, you learn how to uh, um, learn firearms training, defensive tactics. Um, we also have um, a special operations group also known as SOG, which is our tactical unit that goes out and uh, they deal with our very violent, violent fugitives. Um, so this is what we do day in and day out, but we couldn't do what we do without our partnerships of our state and local partners. Uh, when we join forces with our chiefs of police and our county sheriffs, we become a force multiplier. And when we're doing what we do best, no one can stop us from, from getting that guy, hunting him down, and doing what we can do to keep our community safer. And I know that those state and local partnerships, as you just mentioned, are so important to the success of the U.S. Marshal Service. Can you just tell me a little bit more about what that looks like in practice and how the Marshal Service utilizes those task force to meet its security needs? Yeah, absolutely. So, what it, so basically, if we have, like, let's say there's a, a state and local case, right? And they have like someone who committed a homicide or something like that. They can't find them, but we find out that the fugitive actually fled to Mexico. Well, marshals will take that case, will adopt that case, and we'll send it down to um, our marshals in Mexico. And we have we have foreign offices as well, and they will work that case up and uh, and bring them back, and that fugitive will serve their time. Uh, when it comes to security, when you say secure, I think more of judicial security. Um, and we are also responsible for protecting all federal judges. We uh, also protect anyone that the United States Attorney General deems necessary. Um, so whatever we can do to help our judges, that's what we do. If there's a threat, we will go, we'll sit on that house, we'll follow that person around. Um, so we have a lot of missions that we do, but when you talk about security, we're generally talking about protection of our judges. So in addition to that really interesting judicial security mission, what are some of the other mission areas that the U.S. Marshal Service works on? Thank you. So the Marshal Service is also over witness protection. Um, so since the inception of that program in 1971, we've had about 20,000 participants go through the program. Now one thing that we are so proud of is that no one has ever been hurt harmed or in danger while under protection of deputy U.S. Marshals, and we hope that remains the case for a very long time. We are also over prisoner operations, and what that means is we kind of work like the sheriff's office but on the federal side. So whenever anyone is arrested for a federal case like FBI, DEA, whoever they make a, a fed arrest, they bring them to the marshals, we process them, we fingerprint them, take their photos, and they get a marshal number that stays with them from their time of their case all the way until they serve their time in bureau or prisons. Um, we also over uh, prisoner uh, transportation as well. Um, we oversee the asset forfeiture program. Now what that means is, let's say you have like a drug dealer who bought a house with illegal proceeds. 
right? And DAs work in the case. Well, it's the marshals that will go in and we will seize that house. We'll seize that car. We'll seize that jury that was brought with those illegal means. And then we sell those assets and the money that we get, we redistribute it back to the victims or it goes back into law enforcement. Um, the marshal service um, is also over, as I mentioned earlier, fugitive apprehensions. Uh, that's our main mission. Number one manhunter, judicial security, and um, and I think that I think that covers most of it. Yeah, thank you. Wow, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that overview. And then thank you so much for all this great information about the US Marshal Service. We appreciate your time today.